Hi, I'm Evan, and welcome back to the Canvas Tutorial Show. On today's episode, I want to show you a hack where you can use a discussion style post to create a group study guide that all your students can work together on. First, I'll show you a finished version of it where my students have already done this, and then I'll walk you through the steps so that you can do it yourself. Let's get started. So this is an assignment from several years ago from one of my actual classes, uh, and I just changed all the students' names to, to animals for their protection. A quick tip though, um, if you have a bunch of replies on a discussion post, you can use these two icons right here to expand and condense them. So in this particular assignment, I asked the students to uh, basically uh, learn the material and then they could use a different method, whatever worked for them, take a picture or, or Quizlet or annotate a video or that kind of thing uh, to study for a test that was coming up. And then they would post it as a reply to my uh, original post. Now, the reason why I chose this instead of using just a normal assignment is that I wanted the other students to be able or the students to be able to see each other's work, whereas in when you have an assignment, that's not as easily done. And so um, once they had posted theirs and a lot of them chose Quizlet decks and uh, but some of them chose to hand draw out diagrams and upload them, et cetera, et cetera. But when they posted, all they could see was their reply. It didn't show anybody else's reply. But once they posted, it opened up everybody else's so that then when it was time for them to actually prepare for the test, even if they didn't do a great job, um, they can go and walk through somebody else's Quizlet deck or uh, review their diagrams, check out their questions, et cetera, et cetera. So how do you go about doing this yourself? Well, I've got a, a, a fresh install of a sandbox here, and I'm just going to click right here in the, the upper right box of the module, and that's going to allow me to create a new discussion. So in this uh, dialog box right here, where it says assignment, click on it, and you can go down to discussion post. As with all, you have to click on that first in brackets, a new topic, new assignment, whatever, and give it a name before the add item uh, box allows you to click it. So let's just call this study guide chapter three vocabulary. There we go. There we go. Uh, and click add item. Oops, that didn't work out. Okay, I have no idea why that didn't work out, but it's there. So no, it's not. Okay, see, hey, these things are live. Let's try that again real fast. Uh, ba -bum -ba -bum. Discussion. Add item. And there we go. And so now we're just going to click here on the, the edit button that takes us into the discussion post. And in the first part, in the in the uh, rich content editor, this is the old style version, but obviously there's the new one that you can change to if your district allows that. Um, you put your information, your, your instructions in there, uh, and make sure you put that students won't be able to see everybody else's work until they've posted but after they've posted they should come back to study other uh, other students work but the key details are right down here in the options okay and so the two options that i would encourage you to hit are really three the first one is allow threaded replies the benefit of that is that if let's say one student has done a really really good job Another student might comment on it and it would thread that reply uh, saying, hey, this is really great. And other students might start looking at that resource as well. Or the, the converse where a student may have made a mistake in their study guide. That's a good way for there to be that cooperation. And, and hey, you, you, you uh, have the wrong definition there. This is the right definition, that kind of thing. Uh, the, the second thing I would do is I always allow liking because I want them to uh, upvote each other's work so that they have that um, that sense of accomplishment. But the most important thing you need to do is click here where it says users must post before seeing replies. By doing that, it hides everybody else's work until they post. And then once it does, they'll be able to scroll through and study from each other's work and hopefully bring up their test scores. So today we looked at how to use a discussion post style uh, post, a discussion style post to create a study guide. I hope that this material has been helpful for you. Um, if you haven't already, 
go ahead and, and search for at Canvas Tuts on Facebook and both click follow to follow the show so you get every new upload. But also, if you look just below that, you're going to see the group Canvas Tutorials community and make sure you join so that if you have a question of your own, you can post it. If you're looking for a specific tutorial from me, go ahead and ask for it. I love to, to do that for you. Uh, and the third thing, how you can get the most from these Canvas tutorials is that if you have a, if you see one of my videos that you just think this is the good stuff, share it with your fellow teachers. Let them know that this resource is out there because I'm doing it for you. I hope this content has been helpful and you have a great day.